Hi everyone! So welcome to another lecture video. And for this uh, lecture video, we are going to discuss about the standard scores, standard scores or the z-scores. Okay, so here's our learning objectives. At the end of this video, you are expected to first describe the concept of z-score. Second, find the z-score equivalent to a raw score x. Third, find the raw score given the z-score. Fourth, interpret the, commute, the computed value of a z-score. Fifth, find the z-score associated with a percentile. And sixth, apply z-score to solve real-life problems. Okay, so let's begin. Of course, with uh, the concept and definition of uh, the z-scores or the standard scores. Okay, so if you are uh, going to recall our discussion about the normal distribution, di ba meron dun value ng z? Okay? So yung value ng z dun, that is what you call the z-score or the standard scores. Okay? So what's the purpose or what's the definition of a z-score? So when you say standard scores, it reveals how many units of the standard deviation the raw score is above or below the mean or the mu and allows us to compare the results to different normal distributions. Diba? When we are um, finding the z-score in the graph, okay, so it is um, either positive or negative. Diba? So when it is negative, okay, negative when the raw score is below the mean, positive when the raw score is above the mean okay zero when the raw score is the same as the mean okay so here's an illustration in order for you to um, understand more about standard scores so as you can see we have here a graph you know a bell uh, shaped graph okay or a normal distribution graph so here's the standard deviation and uh, standard deviations from the mean Here's the mean. Okay. Here's the standard deviations from the mean. So we have positive um, one, two, three, okay, times the standard deviation. Now we also have the cumulative percentage. Of course, this one is 50%. Diba we um, said that uh, under a normal curve, that is a hundred percent. So fifty percent and fifty percent. Since they are symmetrical or symmetric, fifty percent dito sa kabila fifty percent. So kapag hinati mo yan half, we have here fifty percent. Hey, zero point one, two point three, fifteen point nine, fifty percent, eighty four point one percent. Okay, pag sinabi mo eighty four point one percent, ang ang shaded graph niyan is ito. I mean, ang shaded part yan. That is 84.1%. Kapag 97, sorry, kapag 97.7, ito yan, the shaded part of that is this one. That, that is the 97.7. Here, from here. Yan. And the 99.9 .9 is here. Now, the Z-scores, okay, the Z-score is nothing more than the figure, which represents how many standard deviation units a raw score is away from the mean. Okay? So it, it is either, um, the value of your C-score is either negative or positive, diba? So kapag negative, of course, tandito yan sa my left side, we have negative 1, negative 2, Okay, it can also be negative 0 0.67, negative 2.33. Basta nandiyan lang yan. Kapag positive naman, that is above the mean. So we have positive 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. So how are we going to compute the z-score for a sample? Okay. So we have the formula Z is equal to X minus X bar over S, where X is the raw score, X bar is the sample mean, S is equal to the sample standard deviation. Okay. 
Okay? What's an example for this one? Example number one, consider a random variable that is normally distributed, distributed where the sample mean is equal to 60, the sample standard deviation is equal to 2, and the raw score is equal to 65. Find the corresponding value of Z. Okay? So, during our discussion about the normal distribution, ang Z value then is already given. Okay, was already given. Now, how about if um, Z value naman yung nawawala? Okay, so we can apply this formula since this one is um, for sample, ano, sample. So we have Z is equal to X is Z equals X minus X bar over S, so the, so just um, substitute the given values. We have 65 minus 60 over 2. So 65 minus 60 is 5. We have 5 over 2, or that is equal to 2.5. Thus, the Z value that corresponds to the raw score 65 is 2.5 in a sample distribution. Okay, so this uh, example number one is an example of a sample distribution. Kapag sinabi mong sample distribution, um, you just pick randomly, ra randomly to a population. Okay? That is what you call a sample distribution. Okay? How about um, to compute the C-score for, this one is for population, not sample. Okay? <clears throat> this one is for population. Now, what is the difference between the sample distribution and the population? Okay. Now, kapag sa sample, that is, um, you just randomly picked from a population. Now, when you say population, that is the actual number okay, of your data. That is the actual number. Okay. Say, for example, the total number of students, the total number of students in senior high school. Okay, that's the population. Now, when you say sample, parang kumukuha ka lang randomly dun sa population. Okay? So, how are we going to compute the Z-score for a population? So, we have... Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. Okay? So, it's just the same. Anna. So, the formula is just the same. You just change the symbol okay, for the mean and the standard deviation. So we have Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma, where X is equal to raw score, mu is equal to population mean, and sigma is equal to population standard deviation. Okay, example for this. Okay. So, locate the Z value that corresponds to a PE score of 39, given that mu is equal to 45 and sigma is equal to 6. So, let's apply the formula. So, we have um, X minus mu over sigma. So, that is equal to 39 minus 45 over 6. So, 39 minus 45 is negative 6 over 6. So, our Z is equal to negative 1. So that's the value that corresponds to the raw score 39 is negative 1 in a population distribution. Okay? Another example. On the first periodic exam in statistics, the population mean was 700 and the population standard deviation was 9. Determine the standard score of a student who got a score of 88, assuming that the score is normally distributed. Okay? So, if you are going to identify if this is sample distribution or population distribution, it depends on the problem. Okay? You need to analyze the problem. Ano ba to? Is it a sample distribution or a population distribution? So, of course, in this case, since sabi nga dito population mean, so therefore, this one is a population distribution. Okay? So, you can actually um, identify it depends sa mga words na ginamit. Okay? 
So we have um, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So we have 88, that is our raw score. Our raw score or x is 88 minus 70 over 9. So that is equal to 18 over 9. 18 over 9 is equal to 2. So therefore, the score 88 is two standard deviations above the mean. Okay, so this is what I am telling you. you know, when, when the Z value is positive, then that is above the mean. Okay, above the mean. Sa may right side ng mean or above. Kapag negative, that is below the mean or that is on the left side of the mean. Okay, now kapag above, ibig sabihin mataas. Okay, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin mataas siya. 88 is two standard deviations above the mean. So imagine if more than 88 pa yung score, so mas mataas pa siya. Or mas malayo na siya sa mean, pero mas mataas siya. Positive pa rin. Okay? So how do we find the z-score associated with a percentile? Okay, so let's consider a normal distribution with a mean value of 90 and a standard deviation of 10. Find the value of x. So we are going to find the value of x or the raw score. Okay, letter A, if the area from the mean to the score is 48.30% and the z-score is negative. Letter B, if the area to the right of the z-score is 5%. Letter C, if the area to the left of the z-score is 94.74%. And letter D, if the area from the mean to the z-score is 27% and the z-score is positive. Okay. <clears throat> so let's answer first letter A. If the area from the mean to the z-score is 48.30% and the z-score is negative. So we are going to find the value of x. So what are we going to do first? First is to locate 48.30% where is 48.30% or in decimal that is 0 0.4830 in the z-table. Okay, so don't forget to have your z table, huh? You are going to use that one. Okay, so looking at the z table, hanapin nyo dyan si 0.4830. So, nandito siya, yan, 0 0.4830. Okay, so ano yung z value niya? Okay, ano yung z value niya? We have 2.1 and 0 0.02. Okay. So that is 2.12. Okay? So the corresponding z score of 0.4830 is z equals negative um negative 0 uh, negative 2.12. Oh ma'am, bakit po negative 2.12? It's because it says here that the z score is negative. Okay? Sabi po sabi po dito sa problem or the given problem, the z-score is negative. That's why our z is equal to negative 2.12. Okay? Next, we are going to, um, if you're going to look at the um, graph, yan yung magiging graph niya. So here's the mean, 0, okay? And the z-value is negative. So let's um, say that negative 2.12 uh, is here. So, ganyan po yung magiging itsura ng graph niya. Okay? So, since we already have the value of z, okay, so no need to find for the value of z kasi nalocate na natin siya. Okay? But we are still going to apply the formula for the z-score to find the value of x. Okay? So, we have here the formula z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, so we're just going to substitute all the given values that we have. So we have the value of z is negative 2.12. So that's the value of z. Just uh, substitute it here. Equals x, since um, yan yung hahanapin natin. Okay? x minus the um, 
population mean, which is 90, over the sigma, I mean, yes, the sigma, which is 10. Okay, we can apply cross multiplication. So let's multiply negative 2.12 times 10. So that is negative 21.2 equals x minus 90. Okay, so um, let's substitute negative 2.12 here. Okay, let's simplify. So ito magigis siyang positive 90. So we can transpose negative 90 here. So, magigis siyang positive. So, 90 minus 21.2 is 68.8. Okay? So, our x is equal to 68.8. So, this is how it simplified. So, we have here negative 21.2, diba? Equals x minus 90. Okay? So, we can transpose 90 here. So, magigis siyang positive 90 minus 21.2 equals x. So that is 90 minus 68, I mean 21.2 is 68.8 equals x. Or you can also write it as x equals 68.8. It's just the same, okay? So x is equal to 68.8 or x is equal to 69. Okay, thus, the value of x is 69 corresponding to the area of 48.30% from the mean to the z-score negative 2.12. Okay, from 0 to the z-score negative 2.12, the area is 48.30% or 0.4830%. And the value of x is 69. Okay, so we are able to find the value of x. Next, how about the next one? If the area, if the area to the right of the z-score is 5%, okay, the area to the right of the z-score is 5%, since na, um, area na naman yung given natin, hanapin muna natin siya sa z-table. Okay? Locate 5% to the right, to the right ha, to the right sa my right side. So, ibig sabihin, ano siya? Positive. Locate 5% to the right of the z-score in the z-table. So, ayan siya. So, we don't have here the exact value of uh, 0 0.5. Sorry, 0 0.5. We don't have here the exact value of 0 0.5 or 5%. So, you are going to look at the value na pinakamalapit sa 5% which are 0 0.4495 and 0 0.4505. So these are the numbers or the area na pinakamalapit sa 5%. So since pareho sila, I mean, um, dalawa yung value, what are we going to do is to find the average of the z-score. So ano yung z-score nila? Itong 0. Point, um, ang z-score ni 0. 0.4495, the z-score is equal to 1.64, right? And 0. 0.4505, the z-score is 1.65. Okay, now we are going to find the average of this. Okay? So, you're just going to add 1.64 plus 1.65 divided by 2. Okay. So, what will be the value of that? 1.64 plus 1.65 divided by 2 is 1.645. So therefore, the z value, the corresponding z value or z score of 0 0.9500 is equal to 1.645 or z equals 1.645. Okay? 
that is ito, 5% yung shaded part. To the right yung hinahanap natin. But the z-value of uh, 95, uh, 0.95 is 1.645. Okay? So, let us find the x value of that. So, we have z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So, that is z is 1.645. 1.645 is equal to x minus 90 over 10. So, that is cross multiplication. So, that is 1.645 times 10 is 16.45 equals x minus 90. Okay? So, x is equal to 106.45. So, or that is um, x is equal to 106. Okay? Thus, the value of x is 106 corresponding to the 5% area to the right of the z score 1.645. Okay, next. How about the next one? If the area to the left of the z score is 94.74% area to the left of the z-score. Of course, we're going to locate 94.74% um, or 0 0.9474 in the z-table. Okay, but before that, let us look first the uh, graph. Okay, Since 94.74% you're going to imagine that the graph, the shaded part is bigger, Okay, which is correct. I know. Um, malaki yung shaded part niya since the area is 94% or 94.74%. Now, if you are going to locate 94.74% in the Z-table, mahanap niyo ba siya? Okay. Wala, di ba? Okay. So, hindi nyo siya um, mahanap or walang 94.74% or 0 0.9474. Okay? So, what are you going to do? So, since meron tayo ditong sobra, yan, ito, itong part na to, this one is 50%. Okay? Alam nyo na na this one is, this uh, part is 0 0.5. Okay? 0 0.5 yan. Now, Pwede natin malocate si area from the, the value of C. I mean, from 0 to the value of C. Itong area na to, itong shaded part na to, pwede natin yan malocate sa Z table. Okay? So, let's um, look for the Z table. Tignan natin yung Z table. Okay? So, yeah. Now, para malaman natin, we can um, subtract first. Para malaman natin yung area na hahanapin natin, let's subtract first uh, 0 0.9474 to 0 0.5. Okay, so we can now locate 0 0.4474 on... The Z table. So, where is that? So, nandito siya. 0 0.4474. Okay? So, what is the corresponding Z score for that? So, we have 1.62. So, the corresponding Z score of 0 0.9474 is Z equals 1.62. So, let's compute for the um, Z value. I mean, the raw score. So, we have Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. So, we have 1.62 over X, I mean, equals X minus 90 over 10. So, cross multiply, we have um, 10 times 1.62 is 16.2 equals X minus 90. So, simplify, that is X equals 106.2 or X equals 106. Thus, the value of X is 106 corresponding to the 94.74% area to the left of the Z score 1.62. Okay?
Okay, next. If the area from the mean to the score is 27% and the z square is positive. So the area from the mean, so ibig sabihan from zero, kasi that's the mean, di ba? From area to the mean is 27%. And the z score is positive. So hanapin natin, locate natin yung z score. So let's locate 27% or 0. Um, 2700 in the z table. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we don't have the uh, exact value of 27%. But we are going to look at um, or find yung pinakamalapit sa 27%. Okay, so kanina, dalawa yung um, value na pinakamalapit sa 5%, di ba? Ngayon, if you're going to look at here, Ito lang yung pinaka, ito lang yung value na pinaka malapit sa 27% or 0.27. Okay? So ito medyo malayo na, meron na tayong 0.2734. Ito medyo malayo siya sa 27% kasi 73 pa tong nandito. So medyo malayo pa siya. Ito yung pinaka malapit talaga sa 27%, which is 0.2704. Okay? Imagine, 0. 0.00004 lang siya. Okay. So, we're going to consider this as the Z score of 27%. Okay, so the corresponding Z score of 0. 0.27 is Z equals 0. 0.74 or 74. Okay, so since we already have the value of uh, the z-score, we can now um, solve for the raw score. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. So let's um, substitute 0 0.74 equals x minus 90 over 10. So 7.4. So 0 0.74 times 10 is 7.4 equals x minus 90. Okay, simplify lang natin. So it will become x equals 97.4 or x is equal to 97. So, sabi ba dito, area from the mean. So, from the mean to the Z score, which is 27. Itong shaded part, that is 27%. Okay? Thus, the value of X is 97 corresponding to the area of 27% from the mean to the Z score is 0.74. Okay. So, let's go to the word problems. Okay, so we have here our problem number one. So let's try to answer this. Okay, so a radar unit is used to measure speeds of cars on a motorway. The speeds are normally distributed with a mean of 90 kilometers per hour and a standard deviation of 10 kilometers per hour. What is the probability that a car picked at random is traveling at more than 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's try to solve. Okay, so we need to list down all the uh, values given. So our mean here is 90 kilometers per hour. So we have here uh, mu is equal to 90. And sigma is equal to 10 kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour. And our x or the raw score here is, sabi nga dito, 100 kilometers per hour. So our raw score is 100 kilometers per hour. Okay? Since... um. We need to find the probability, okay? Pag sinabi natin probability, we are finding the percentage, okay? The percentage or the probability na um, yung piniling car or the pick car is traveling more than 100 kilometers per hour. So we need first to solve for the Z value para ma-graph natin siya, okay? So we have X, Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. So just 
um, substitute, we have um, 100 minus 90 over 10. So 100 minus 90 is 10 over 10. So therefore, our Z is equal to 1. Z is equal to 1. So since we already have the value of uh, Z or the Z score, we can now uh, graph this one. So let's try to graph. Suppose this is symmetrical. Sorry for the graph. Suppose this is symmetrical. Okay. So we have the mean of zero here and our Z value is one. So one is here. Okay. So saan tayo magshishade? Sa ang part? So since sabi dito sa question, uh, we need to find the probability that a car picked at random is traveling more than 100 kilometers per hour. More than. So, ibig sabihin, above the mean siya. More than. So, therefore, your shaded part will be to the right, of course. Kasi more than. Okay? To the right, yung shaded part natin. Going to shade here. Okay, so ito yung hahanapin natin. Okay, so Z, that is um, piece of Z greater than 100. Okay, so of course we need the Z table. To find the value of or the area from 0 to 1. Okay? So, kailangan natin ma, uh, makita yung z-table para mahanap natin yung area from 0 to 1. Okay? So, let's locate to the z-table. So, we have 1. 1 is here. Okay? So, ito yung 1. 1 1.0. Of course, um, we have 0 0.3413. So let's go back. 0 1.0 is 0 0.3413. Okay. So the area or piece of Z equals 1. The area is equal to 0 0.3413. So para makuha natin tong area na to, we need to z greater than 100 or we can also write here z greater than 1 kasi ano um, z score or z greater than 100 is equal to um, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3413 so that is equal to 0 0.1587 right now, since probability ang hinihingi niya, you can answer it in percentage. So, that is 15.87%. So, therefore, the probability that a car picked at random is traveling at more than 100 kilometers per hour is 0 0.1587 or 15.87%. Okay, so let's proceed to the next problem for a certain type of computers the length of time between charges of the battery is normally distributed with a mean of 50 hours and a standard deviation of 15 hours john owns one of these computers and wants to know the probability that the length of time will be between 40 and 70 hours okay so let's try to solve <clears throat> okay so we have the mean is equal to 50 hours. Mu or sigma, sorry, is 15 hours. Okay, and our x, since ang uh, hahanapin natin is a probability between 40 and 70, so therefore we have um, two values of x. We have x equals 40 and x equals 70. Okay, 
So we are looking for um, the probability or the piece of Z is uh, less than 40. I mean, greater than 40, but less than 70. Okay, so yan yung hahatapin natin. So let's solve for the value of Z first. So we have... Um, Okay, so if x is equal to 40, since dalawa yung ano, value of x natin, if x equals to 40, then what will be the value of z? Okay, ayusin natin. Okay, so if x equals 40, what will be the value of z? So we have z is equal to 40 minus 50 over 10. So 40 minus 50 is negative 10 over 10. So that is equal to negative 1. So if x is equal to 40, then z is equal to negative 1. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my error. Mali yung nalagay ko sa standard deviation. It must be 15. Tama. Okay, so this must be 15. 15. Okay, so that is negative 10 over... 15 or that is negative 2 over 3. Okay, so negative 2 over 3 is approximately negative 0 0.67. So our z here is equal to 0 0.67. So if x is equal to 40, our z is equal to negative um, 0 0.67. How about if x is equal to 70? So we have z is equal to um, 70 minus 50 over 15. So that is 70 minus 50 is 20 over 15. So 20 over 15 is approximately, or 20 over 15 is 4 thirds. Diba? So that is approximately 1.33. Okay, so since we already have the z values, okay, so z is equal to 1.33. So itong, itong mga z values nito, we can now graph here. Then na natin sila i graph. So here is the mean. So, negative 0 0.67, uh, approximately, nandito si negative 0 0.67, 67, so nandiyan siya, and um, 1.33, so approximately, nandito si 1.33, 1.33, okay. So since here we need to find the probability that the length of time will be between 40 and 70 hours. So saan tayo magsha-shade? Kapag between, ang shaded part will be in the middle of this two z scores. Sa gitna. So dyan yung shaded part natin. Okay, so of course, we need to look for the Z, uh, I mean the area of Z equals negative 67 and Z equals 1.33. So let's check the Z table. So hanapin natin 0 0.67, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 0 0.2486 and 1.33 is 0, 1, 
0.23. So we have 0 0.3485. Okay. So P of Z equals negative 0 0.67. So that is equal to 0 0.2486. And P of Z equals 1.33. So that is equal to 0 0.4082. Okay. So to find the uh, total percentage or the probability between 40 and 70, so that is Z, P of Z is greater than 40 but less than 70. So that is equal to, we're just going to add the two area, which are 0 0.2486 um, plus 0 0.4082. So that is equal to 0 0.6568. Or that is 65.68%. Okay, so we can conclude that the probability, the probability that the length of time between 40 and 70 hours is 65.68%. Okay, next, let's have the next example. Okay, so a large group of students took a test in physics and the final grades have a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 10. If we can approximate the distribution of these grades by a normal distribution, what percent of the students scored lower than 80? What percent of the students scored lower than 80? Okay, so let's try to answer this one. So, okay, so we have the mean of 70 and the standard deviation of 10. Okay, we also have the x equals or the raw score as 80. Okay, so we're going to look for the percent of the students scored lower than 80. Okay, so let's solve for the value of z first. So we have x minus mu over sigma. So that is equal to 80 minus 70 over um, 10. So 80 minus 70 is 10 over 10. So our Z is uh, Z score is equal to 1. Okay, so let's graph. Okay. So we have 0 here and our Z is 1. So since we are looking for the percent of the students lower, lower than 80, so therefore, ano yung saan ang shaded part natin? Of course, kapag lower, that is on the left side. Okay, left side. So we're going to shade the left side. Let's shade the left side. Okay. So ito yung hahanapin natin, itong percentage na to. Okay, so let's find first the P of Z equals 1. I mean, the area from 0 to 1. Okay, from 0 to 1. So, hanapin natin siya sa um, Z table. So, 1.0 is 0 0.3413. So, that is 0 0.3413. Okay, so to find P of um, Z less than 80, so that is 0 0.5. So we can add here, since meron pa siyang additional shaded part dito sa may left side, which is 0 0.5 yan. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3413, so that is equal to 0 0.8413. Or that is 84.13%. So therefore, 
the percent of the students scored lower than 80 is 84.13%. Thus, so we can write here, thus, the percent, the percent of students scored lower than 80 is 84.13 percent. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and listening. You know? Now, if you have any questions regarding uh, this lecture video, you can comment or you can ask your subject teacher about it. Okay, but before we end our lecture video, let us go back with our learning objectives. Okay, so we are able to describe the concept of Z-score. We are able to find the Z-score equivalent to a raw score X. We are able to find the raw score given the Z-score. We are able to interpret the computed value of a Z-score. We are able to find the Z-score associated with a percentile. And we are able to apply Z-score to solve real life problems. Okay, so thank you for watching. Take care, bye-bye.